so we get to go through what the do's and the do don'ts are as such. <coughs> so we have the, the spanner button, press that. First job we'll always do is get their name in under the profiles, yeah. So at least then he feels a little bit more comfortable about life. It's my machine name, not his. Um, in here now, that gives us the ability, so we could have Tom, Dick, Harry, whoever, huh, and set each function up, each profile, with different joystick configurations. So Tom might want to drive it a one way, Dick might want to drive it another way, he might want the rotation in the left hand, the tilt on the right hand, or he might want it on the fingers. However, each profile can store its own identity. So we get that set up. Then we start to go through how to be able to change the physical functions of the machine so we can change the speed of the rotation, the tilt, the gripper, the extra, um, purely by sliding. Once that's then set, that stays in Stuart's profile. So we can go to Tom's profile and it'll be automatic, it'll be back to how Tom had it at 100%. So there's no, no messing about, if that makes sense. Um, so we'll go through the speeds, we'll then go through adjusting the brightness for the cab, we'll set the screen saver so that comes on, it's not flashing away in their faces. Um, we have a daylight mode in case they're uh, working at night. Done the profiles. The layout then, that's where we'll set what the, the driver physically wants. So if he wants a rotation in a particular roller, well then we can set it all up on here. So we've got the left hand, the right hand um, on that, and that individually changes the button functions, everything. It's very, very unique really, to be honest with you. We then have a clinometer, so a physical angle meter of the machine. So we can change the driver in theory, can see the angle of the bucket, even though we can't see the bucket. Troubleshooting, this is the best thing really for, <coughs> for it's how we've managed to work so well remotely with, with, um, with our support staff is the fact that most of the faults will be, can be diagnosed over the phone and then we can arrive on site with the right part rather than backwards and forwards and waiting two weeks for components. So this is our, our strongest tool if the truth be known. So we can physically check if there are any errors there any stored errors and then we can check then what if there is a fault with anything so if we check a roller she lights up green so we know that's good so that's all the inputs that are going from what the driver is asking the machine to do so you can see they all go functionality safety gate even down to the quick hitch switch we can check evidence working we can then check what after the driver's asked the machine to do something, what's the machine then asking the tilt rotator to do? We can see the functionality of where, you see we're, we're acting on the tilt, so there's the milliamps are raising on the tilt. We know we've got the actual and the desired, so what actually is happening and what you want to happen. If the two match, everything's good. Um, so we can, that then will check whether the cabling down the boom has been knocked or, we can get quite deep with it all, if the truth be known, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool. We can then see system info, so we can see what the machine's doing, how many rotations a minute, the tilt speed, physical voltage coming from the excavator. So at the moment she's at 24.7, when she starts she should be running about 26, 27. Um, the amount of pulses, what power's going to the module. Um, we can then check serial number, software updates, so on and so forth. But it can all be done remotely, which is quite nice. We can see what tools are attached to the machine. Uh, this gets onto our tool recognition system, which is a little bit further advanced. You might see that this afternoon, to be fair. Um, this is one thing we have to do. This is going into an advanced setting now, so we can auto-tune the machine up. We can check, change settings of what the rollers physically do. You see that, that's rising up. We can change that graph to how the 
physical machine's characteristics are changing on its hydraulic nature. Uh, we can put curves into that. I mean, it's really quite cool. It's, but it's all down to today, it doesn't matter. The driver's got to learn how to operate it. Once he learns to operate it and gets his head around it, then that's when the questions start to come from the driver. They'll go, what about if I had it a little bit like that and a little bit like that? And it will all start to, to work really well, actually. We can check what the excavator's doing, hydraulic functionalities. So we'll go through all this with the drivers in order to make sure that they know that if they have a problem, we can um, we can physically check stuff for them over the phone. I'm just calibrating the rollers while we're here. That's all good. 